What's going on you guys? I have another Dale Inspire. This is a 3910. Gonna be upgrades. Let me show you the front. So you want the second panel, slide it to the left. So I'm gonna show you guys uh, SSD, NVMe, one terabyte, a VD card, GT1030. Also, uh, we upgrade the uh, three terabyte hard drive for extra storage. And another RAM stick, it's eight gigs. It's got 12 gigs of RAM. So I'm gonna remove one stick and add one more eight gigs. So be total 16 gigs. So first what I will do is I'll move the front cover. Then you get a Phillips head. So there'll be one, two, three, four. Squeeze your three move. Disconnect the SATA power cable. And it's got a one terabyte hard drive in here. It's pretty low. So you're gonna connect back the SATA power cable. Disconnect it back. It's upgraded and this is a three and a half inch so what I'll do is I'm gonna move the fan shroud blast it and it comes out like this and this is for the airflow and so this one stick is eight gigs and the other one is a four gig stick that's a DDR4 one way you may have two clicks now what I would do is it's got to see the SSD has 256 pretty small and what I'll do is I need a Phillips head screwdriver so just screw it in the middle you have to remove slides to the left gently and you're gonna move this thermal pad also you don't need it and what you're gonna do is you know, I'm gonna install the, the NVMe 2280 so what you're gonna do is you have to take the screw here and move it to the left side and I'll need to take out again a Phillips head larger one and just move it here. And the one guy 
guys, I'm gonna install is uh, this is a one terabyte NVMe M.2, and basically, uh, also I install a heatsink. You have to buy it separately. It runs a lot better with it. It cools better. So install one way like this. And you can screw back. I'll put a link in the description. They sell this uh, heatsink on Amazon. You can buy it separately. So now what I will do is, guys, I will install the video card to do that. So I'm gonna move this plastic piece, metal. And this has, uh, you see the PCI? So I'll show you guys. So the top one is a PCI Express times one. And the bottom one I'm gonna install is a PCI Express times 16, the blue, blue slot right here. So what I would do is, I need to take a pliers. <clears throat> You see it's right here, it's mounted to the case. One, two, so there must be this one right here. I take this out. The PCI bracket, PCI slot. And the video card. Hey guys, I'm installing this uh, GT1030. <clears throat> this is a two gig GDDR5. Uh, it comes with both bracket, low profile and full height bracket. So what you have to do is you have to change the bracket to full height. And we're gonna install it. I'm just gonna hold it like this. You guys can see it. The video card is installed. Do is I'm gonna install back the front cover. And you guys were asking me about the power supply. The power supply in here is 180 watt because it's i5 CPU. But when you buy the same machine as i7, it comes with a 300 watt power supply. So you can get a you can install your GTX 1650 or GTX 1650 Super. If you have a 300 watt power supply, this is around 180 watt. So GT 1030 be the good video card, but GTX 1650, uh, the power supply is too low. You have to upgrade the power supply. But if you buy an i7, same same PC, they come with a 300 watt power supply. I'm gonna install the fan shroud. We're gonna install it back like this. So. like that it's installed let me show you guys the back side okay so just check okay and uh, it's Windows uh, I'm gonna clean install Windows 11 home actually and I'll upload that as a separate video for the teardown and I forgot to tell you guys see this line right here this is where you have to align this piece right here. And you install the side cover panel. And just screw it back in, thumb screws. And this is how it's gonna look like. The video card with the HDMI and DVI port. See the model shows right here, 3910. See so you guys, this is the end of the video. Thanks for watching, bye.